Gentlemen and the odd car lady, welcome to the garage. Thanks for joining me. This is how to jack up a BMW part two. Yeah, I know. I never thought I'd make two videos for this, but I got a great response on the first one and I got some goodies that came in and a lot more info. Yeah, I know. This is, it sounds like it's an easy thing to do, but these cars are very particular in how they need to be jacked. So if you don't know the details on that, please watch my first video. But without further ado, here are the metal versions of this. If you recall from my first video, I made a prototype with a 3D printer. And now this is the metal version. Okay. So you can see here, these two edges lock in. Okay. So this can't twist and turn. We're looking at a top view. And this circular piece there, I put it as a backup just in case this ever fails. It's 3 8 thick, so it shouldn't, but you know, as a backup, it's going to touch here. But its primary mode of support are these two edges, okay? So I made this for uh, one jack stand I have here. It's a three ton, but I was gifted these jack stands here, which are the Husky brand. And this will fit, but as you can see, the circle is preventing it from um, sitting where I'd like it to, which is here. So what I'm thinking, if you guys are interested in these things, I can make these pretty much universal. It's this circular piece I need to remove. And if I did that, it would fit pretty much all these jack stands. Okay um because the width there is fine and as you see here this is the part that fits into the bmw holder and i have two two made one with the plug weld method where he turned this first and another where they milled as close as possible to a circle it doesn't have to be perfect like i said this is only a backup and uh, so i got two here but i'm gonna have to make a different profile for this one or just make them flat across so I think I can make these um, they're not going to be cheap but like I said you need them you cannot put these jack stands into your BMW uh, pads and you can watch my first video on why you shouldn't be doing that okay another goodie here I have is as you can see from my first video I used this on uh, one jack I had I since upgraded to a proper um, jack, low profile, three ton, heavy duty Harbor Freight Pittsburgh. And I needed to build this adapter because the cup is a lot bigger, but it still works. You jack it up, um, but you know, it's hard to make these things for universally all types of adapters. But if you guys are interested, I can measure enough jack stands and uh, you know, see if I can get these made. And uh, they're needed once again. This, these cars make it very difficult to uh, work on without the proper tools. And I've seen nothing for um, jack stands. I've only seen uh, those rubber uh, pads, which I showed on my first video, which are these. And these are supposed to work for jacks, but they don't do a good job because this cup is too big. And I showed that in my first video. So um, if you guys are interested, you know, this is steel. Um, let me know. I can send you some details or I might even make these. Um, I haven't looked into the costing of it, but uh, yeah, let me know. And just remember, be safe. Disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any mishaps. And please, guys, can you subscribe because I need a thousand subscribers um, or they've now demonetize my videos so i'm not in it for the money but i'd like to put money back into the channel okay guys thanks like subscribe share peace just want to do a quick update i made my prototype jack adapter for these jack stands from metal and here it is lifting my car up because the car is at an angle you see there it's uh, grabbing on one side but it works great it locks in with this ridge there so it can't twist like side to side and uh, it's steel it's got two supports 
So basically it sits on here, the round edge, and also underneath this there's a flat edge too. So it's sitting on one. I can't remember on this one if it's here or here. But you can see the round portion is a backup just in case that ever fails. So this is fail safe. It can't twist. It's locked in. Can't twist from the jack stand. And yeah, really happy with the design. Love it.